Hello and welcome to another Modern Toy Fair review. Today I'm taking a look at the Mofex number 175 Batman Hush Nightwing. As always, let me know in the comments below if you've got this figure on the way, if you've picked it up already, if you're waiting for your pre-order, or if you're still on the fence. And of course, stick around to the end of the video so we can see all the photos I took. But that's enough chair chatter, let's go ahead and get at her. All right, let's get right into it. So let's start with this incredible head sculpt. So you can see if I put a little shadow there, there's some wrinkles in the forehead. You've got this great mask that's sculpted on with that light blue. A little bit off there on the left side, but it's not terrible. The hair is really well sculpted. Like, that is exactly what I expect from the, like, Hush era Nightwing hair. It looks really good. The costume looks great. You've got that blue against the black. It's actually got like little sculpted, carved out like lines where it's separated. The only downside is like over here, you can see like it's, it's unfortunately breaks up if you move the arm back too far for the blue. You've got all of his muscles and everything, the little shine from the black. You've got some wrinkles at the top of his bicep. You've got more of that blue. You can see a little bit of a raise for his glove. There's some more of the back side. And then you can even see where the two fingers are blue all the way into the fist. And then going down, we've got all the muscles in his thighs. You can see just a change in the paint as well for the black of the boots versus the legs. We've got some wrinkles there at the ankle and across the bottom of his boot. And you've got some cool tread there on the bottom and the back. Got more of that great hair sculpt and more of the blue and black. Now, cool thing is, this figure, you can actually remove the back. I, I put my thumb up under here to pop it off. Be very careful, though, because it does get a little stuck. Mine up in the right uh, corner gets a little stuck sometimes. But you can switch it out, pop this on. Come on, there we go. You can see, you can't see the seam lines. Like, it's, it like fits pretty snug. But it gives you these little clamps, so that way you can attach his batons. So that's a cool little addition that uh, is fun. You've got his little trademark DC tramp stamp there. Now for the big reveal. Did they do him right with the booty? Because Nightwing is known for that booty, and I'd say... They did a pretty good job. Like that's a that's a pretty nice gluteus maximus. Like I'm I'm here for it. Uh, more muscles down the legs. You can see again that boot is a different paint than everything else. Get more wrinkles at the bottom of the boot and the ankle there. A little better look there. And yeah, I'm I'm pretty impressed. They did a pretty good job. Okay, on to articulation. So you do have the two points of articulation here at the top. You have the little crooked bent dumbbell so you can spin it around and get different range of motion you get tons of side to side twists all around bunch up bunch down pretty much what you expect from a mofx figure the arms go up past 90 go all the way around We've got the shoulder rotation there We've got bicep swivel double joint elbows and the wrist peg which where is it there we go Forward and back, it spins all the way around, so you can twist it however you need it to be. Let's get these arms up and out of the way. So you do have top and bottom of the abs. Get all sorts of side to side twist. It is a little tight at the top, so you do have to kind of angle it a little bit. But you can get quite a bit of range. Even more to the side. And also twists all around, like so, in both spots. There we go. And the legs do come down a little bit. And we'll do the other one because it's a little tight. Goes straight forward, pretty far out to the side, along with the double joint knee. And these ones are a little tight, so you do have to kind of like pull down to pop it back into place, uh, which is the first time I've really had experience with that. And there's the. Uh, hip twist, we got the ankle pivot, forward and back, and then the toe articulation, 
And you can pretty much get him in just about any pose you could possibly want him in. Like, I have had zero issues so far, aside from, like I said, some of the joints are a little tight. Next up, let's take a look at some accessories. So you have this angry alternative head. They did a great job with the sculpt around the mouth of some of the wrinkles in his lips. It looks really good. Did a great job of kind of giving him some little frow lines there at the forehead. The hair looks fantastic as well. Did a great job of just giving it just enough ruffle. But then you do have a bunch of hands. So some karate chopping hands here. Then we have some relaxed hands. Choking hands. And these gripping hands, which are used for his batons. Let's see a little hole there. Pond out and show you. It's pretty easy if you can see what you're doing. There we go. And voila. Then you do have a set of hands with these little invisible like spinning effects. DC Collectibles did this for the statues, and I really like they include it. Also has a little peg in there to keep it nice. Then you do have the batons again. And then you have this wired baton, like rope one, which the only downside is they do pop out, so you have to be careful. And then you have the stand. All right, time for a quick size comparison. Here he is with my custom rebirth Moff X Batman. Batman's a little bit taller, which is perfect. Here he is with Valiverse figure. Valiverse is a little bit taller as well, which I'm kind of digging. Switch those out. We've got J.I. Toys Ryu. And then we have Marvel Legends, John Favreau, and Pimp Daddy Destro. So Ryu's a little bit shorter, which is a little weird. But then the Marvel Legends and G.I. Joe Classics, or not cl Classifieds, are a little bit taller. Pop these out here. And we'll bring out the big beefy boy, the Marvel Legends build a figure, Armadillo, who is absolutely massive and just scales great with everybody. And last up, we have the box arts. You've got that cover art in the back, Hush logo on the side, Nightwing, all his names and logos and stuff down here at the bottom. Uh, on one side, you have that big Hush logo with him there. Another picture of the figure on the opposite side. On the bottom, you've got all the legal stuff, all the barcodes, don't choke on this, no kids allowed, all that fun stuff. Top, you've got more logos and pictures of the figure. And on the back, that's where you get to see all of the different accessories here. Plus all the different poses you can get him in, along with some logos and information. So pretty much the same we've seen with all the Hush figures, which is kind of nice to have it kind of sequential. Okay, so overall, I'll just say it. This is my definitive Nightwing figure. It's borderline perfect. I, I really am impressed with how well they captured the likeness. I like the articulation. Uh, the only th like complaint I have is there's some a little bit of sloppy paint and the uh, wire for the uh, batons uh, with the posable wire like comes out, but that's an easy fix. Just I'm just gonna glue it back in. It's not the end of the world. Just a little bit annoying, but yeah, it's absolutely fantastic. I, I love it. Let me know in the comments below what your thoughts and feelings are if this review you know swayed you one way or another if you're still on the fence and of course make sure to stick around the end of the video to see all the photos i took i did have a lot of fun with this one you can check us out instagram twitter and tiktok at modern toy fair and if you like the support channel you can head to patreon.com forward slash modern toy fair link will be in the description below a bunch of different tiers of different options you can get physical prints of the photos i take for the end of the reviews you can be a guest on the live stream and you can even get some of our videos early so again that's patreon.com forward slash modern toy fair but that's gonna be it for this week's video hopefully see you next week same toy time same toy fair channel thank you for watching